Hi, my name is Ramna. My personal blog is .netiq.com. If you want to receive my latest videos on your Facebook wall, please go to the .netiq.com. Right side you see a Facebook like button. Please click on that. Coming to today's topic, uh, how to call WCF REST based service and SOAP based services from jQuery. As part of this, uh, three steps, uh, I'm going to show this in three steps. The first step is how to create a simple REST based services. The second step is the same service I'm going to expose with uh, two endpoint URLs, one endpoint for REST based, the another endpoint for SOAP based. And third thing is uh, accessing these two endpoint URLs from the jQuery. Uh, this is my ASP.NET project, uh, WCF REST services. And I added an interface. Basically, this interface is nothing but my service contract. It's a simple interface. Uh, iGreetings is the interface name. It's my service contract. And it has only one operation. The say hello is the one operation contract. And it's taking the string as input and uh, returning the string as output. The implementation of my service contract is I added another class uh, greeting service dot SVC. Uh, inside the code behind of the test VC, I have the implementation for my service contract. See, the iGreetings is my service contract. It, uh, so it has the implementation of my service contract. And uh, remember, since it is a REST based service, so you need to add the reference of uh, system dot service model dot web. So I added the system dot service model dot web and I referred here. That same namespace I referred here. And uh, your implementation class must be decorated with the service behavior attribute. I will come to this uh, address filter mode. And uh, coming to my operation implementation, say hello is the my operation contract. The operation implementation, it must decorate with the web invoke. Since it's a REST based service, you must definitely de decorate with the web invoke attribute. This web invoke is basically it's a part of uh, system.servicemodel.web. That's why we added the reference and referred here. So web invoke is part of the uh, system dot service model dot web. This web invoke attribute is taking the three three parameters key things. One is the method. This method is nothing but how to access uh, like you know the data for the for the service contract. Like is it through HTTP get or HTTP post? How you are po you want to pass the data and through get or post the data or delete or put update means there in HTTP methods itself we have so many. Uh, it's going to support all those. The second parameter is the URI template. A URI template means basically you can specify your custom format over here. Since it is a get, HTTP get means your input parameters you pass through the query string. So in URI template, you can specify your custom format of passing the input parameters and even you can specify your different name for your uh, operation contract. So since you are specifying the custom name or custom format here, but your WCF service to allow you the format and allow the URL to make it allow, you need to specify the address filter mode. Address filter mode is basically it's a unum. It has uh, three options. One is exact match and the another is uh, uh, prefix match and third one is any. So since it is a, a REST based communication that you, are, you have a URI template, uh, with a custom format, you must specify to address filter mode with any option. So it won't, means it's basically it ignores the any format. Otherwise, if the, by default option is the exact match. The moment if it is exact, it, ex it looks for the exact the name of the operation contract and uh, uh, regular in our SOAP-based services, it's uh, always it's exact match. If it is a rest base, you, you need to specify this as a any. And the third thing is the response format. You have two options in the response format. Uh, one is uh, either you can, uh, you can specify the JSON or in XML format. Uh, I specified it as a JSON format, so my uh, response is going to be in JSON. Request and response is going to be in JSON format for this operation. Uh, this is the implementation of uh, uh, my uh, WCF service. It's a REST-based service. We are coming to the configuration. This is, this is the my service configuration. I have only one service, single service, that is a greeting service. And uh, the service configuration here, inside the service configuration, if you notice, you have one endpoint URL with address as a JSON, and another endpoint for the SOAP, 
the third endpoint for the metadata exchanger. Uh, endpoint means we know that it's a ABC address binding contract. Address will tell you the exact where where this method is means where the service is existed. The binding will uh, actually binding the this is the binding we specify for the depends upon like if it is a REST based services we need to specify the web HTTP binding. The contract is the your service contract th that is the interface you specified this service contract here I greetings is the service contract. So for uh, REST based service as I mentioned it's the web HTTP we need to specify the web HTTP binding. The coming to the SOAP based format the I specified as the binding as a basic HTTP binding means other bindings like other HTTP bindings like basic HTTP, WS HTTP binding and a few other HTTP bindings those are all gives the request and response in a SOAP format. Contract is the remain same I greetings because the same service contract we are exposing multiple endpoint URLs one endpoint for uh, REST based and another endpoint for um, SOAP based format. And the third thing is the default endpoint, this is the metadata exchanger. This metadata exchanger endpoint is going to give the complete details of your service contract, like what are the operations it has, what are the endpoint URLs, and uh, uh, those details it's going to give by your metadata, ex metadata endpoint URL. And uh, the other uh, few more Im important thing is in the configuration, especially for the REST based services, you need to specify um, the behavior configuration. Behavior configuration is service level, means the behavior configuration is at two levels. One is the service level and another is the endpoint level. So the service level behavior configuration name is the greeting behavior. If you go to the greeting behavior, see this is my service behaviors. All service behaviors is sitting here under. So greetings behavior. Make sure in your service metadata, HTTP get, el get enabled, the attribute must be true. For the REST based services, you must enable the HTTP get enabled equal to true. And the second thing is endpoint level behavior configuration. If you see only JSON, like REST based, REST based service only, it has the endpoint has the behavior configuration, but SOAP based, you don't have any behavior configuration. I specified only for the um, REST based uh, endpoint URL. This is J JSON endpoint behavior. Let's go to the endpoint behavior configuration. Yeah, this is the endpoint uh, behaviors. Here you have only one behavior named JSON endpoint behavior. I specified it's the web HTTP. Since it is a uh, web HTTP binding, so you need to specify that uh, web HTTP in your endpoint uh, endpoint behavior configuration also. And one more key thing is means uh, here if you see the you, you are seeing the contract name here service contract basically it's a interface name. Then where is the implementation class details? The your implementation of this service contract is going to be part of the service name. If you see service name, service name is always the your implementation of your service contract. And these are the few uh, configuration uh, settings we need to take care to make it work of the REST, uh, REST based uh, uh, endpoint URL and SOAP based, SOAP, uh, SOAP based endpoint URL. Now I'm going to show how to test the REST based uh, endpoint URL and uh, SOAP based endpoint URL and after that uh, we'll go to the how to access these two URLs from the jQuery. I, uh, I run this project and uh, I actually uh, this is my uh, startup page I set as a startup page. So the moment I run this project you will see this localhost 1356greeting.srvc.svc file. This is the where we have the actual implementation. So if again, I'm going back to the configuration. If you see my address here, I specify the address as a JSON address. I specified as a SOAP. It means that this is prefixed by entire this URL means it's prefixed by this entire URL uh, means it's going to add this after that it's going to be JSON. JSON and say hello is the my operation in URI template I gave the same name say hello and I specified the format name equal to I'm passing the key value here I'm passing the Ramna if you see the response is hello Ramna but using this it means URL query string you can test the rest based services but coming to our SOAP based services how you test this and I need the SOAP request format uh, that the request format I'm going to use in the jQuery side. When you are communicating the SOAP based uh, endpoint URL, you need to know the your request format, SOAP based request format. So now we tested this service, the REST based endpoint URL using the browser. 
now i'm going to test the soap based service using the wcf test client test the soap based endpoint url uh, go to the uh, c program files microsoft visual studio 9.0 common 7 ide inside that you have a wcf test client i'm going to give the url of that service I just give the .svc file path and it's going to show the two options. Th this is he. This is the REST based and this is the basic binding. Th this is the basically SOAP based format. So let me try to increase the size of... No, it's not alone. Okay. I'm testing the SOAP based one. Sorry. I'm passing the here also Ramna and just invoking. see you, you you got the string as a output uh, hello ramna and how but how you see the so based request and response if you see here you have two tabs here formatted in xml if you click on the xml tab you can see the so based request format and your so based response format but i need a so based request format i'm going to use that in This is my soap based uh, format, request format, uh, action and head, header, close body, inside the body you have the say hello, this is the actual operation contract and uh, this is the input parameter, like a name is the input parameter and closing of the body and envelope. This is the basically your soap based request uh, format. We need this format when you are communicating, means when you are accessing the soap based uh, uh, endpoint URL through jQuery. Okay, now we saw that uh, we tested the REST based URL through browser and we tested the SOAP based URL uh, through WCF test client. And now I'm going to, this is my main.aspx and I also added the reference of jQuery library. So in my main.aspx, in design view, if you see, uh, has uh, two sections one is json format call and soap format call uh, inside the uh, json i'm just entering the name and uh, the moment i click on the go button i'm calling a javascript function which is going to uh, communicate the rest based endpoint url here is the same thing the moment i hit the go button by entering my name entering the name and it is going to communicate the soap based to endpoint url through uh, javascript jquery so going to the source code, one minute, this is the main dot here. See, if we, here we have two functions, one is the greetings, and the greetings basically it is, uh, we are calling the rest based, JSON, uh, rest based endpoint URL, JSON endpoint URL. The another function we have, it is SOAP greetings. SOAP greeting, we are calling the SOAP based format endpoint URL. Okay. Um, if you go to the here, first one is the rest base. Here we are using the AJAX function, jQuery AJAX function to communicate asynchronously to the um, endpoint URLs like rest based endpoint URL, so based endpoint URL. Here I specified the URL since uh, the service contracts and uh, ASPX pages is part of the same project. I'm not giving the complete URL. I'm just giving the greeting dot, uh, greeting dot SVS, greeting is, uh, service dot SVS file name slash JSON. JSON is the my endpoint URL address. Address I specified as a JSON, so I need to give the JSON. And I'm specifying the my URI template, whatever I specified for that operation. Say hello, question mark, name, and I'm passing the name value. This name is getting whatever the text box you entered, I'm assigning to the var name, and I'm passing to here. The type of the operation contract is uh, the get, the get, through get we are communicating. So I specified the type as get and a data type. The response and the request and response communication is happening through JSON format. I saw I specified as a JSON. The content type, content type is basically it's a JSON application by JSON and uh, character set you, so you need to specify UTF-8. And the moment if it is success, the function is, uh, the communication is success, I'm calling this function, whatever the response I got, I'm just printing the, uh, printing in a, a div tag. Like, and another thing, the moment if I get the error, the communication is error, then I'm printing the alert, uh, alert the, means I'm printing that error. The same thing I'm doing in the 
soap communication soap communication also i am using the ajax function Java, uh, jquery ajax function but if you notice here the name na, name the variable num is going to hold the text box soap name whatever you entered in the text box soap name it's going to hold this and the url url is going to be the greeting service dot svc slash soap because in address we specified it as a soap that's why i am gave the soap and the request the request is going to be the soap request whatever we got it from the wcf test client that's what i use the test client to get the soap request uh, uh, format i copied the soap request format and uh, specified here Je i just i ignored the header part i ignored the header part and uh, from body part onwards soap envelope body and the operation name and the parameter input parameter i am passing the variable this variable is going to hold the test box value whatever you entered in the test box and uh, this is the my request so format and uh, coming to my ajax function ajax call url i specified the url whatever you will type it's going to be post because it's a soap communication when you it's always the post communication so the data type is a uh, request and response is going to be a xml soap based xml format and uh, data is going to be whatever the when you are posting the data you need to pass the data right that data is going to be the this request whatever you specified here you are going to specify that and uh, the process data should be false that is the key key setting you need to remember and another thing before you send you are going to also add a soap action header so uh, before you send the request you are going to add the soap action to your request that is going to be this one soap action if you see here this is the action element and the uh, name value is going to be this this is what same exactly i used in here temp or a greetings dot say hello okay you need to specify the soap action and uh, the moment it's success you are printing the uh, actual response and the moment is error you are printing that error also the content type is going to be touched by xml earlier if you see in the json application by excuse me application by json here it is going to be the xml communication now i'm going to run this see main dot aspx i give the test name something test name and you will get the json greetings hello test name and if you do the same with the uh, soap test whatever you want you can enter and uh, you will get the see this is the my response format the entire response i am printing uh, i am getting the response see here actual my response is my method response is hello soap test if you see this response is going to match exactly with this this response i am printing the entire soap response i can pick that value a result value from the element and i can put it but uh, here i am printing the entire uh, soap uh, response um i think we covered all the three steps and uh, in, i am i will come up with uh, another interesting topic in my next video thank you bye